Carol Roy live on the floor at Citrix Synergy 2010 for Virtual Strategy Magazine and on the front side we have Brian Feller, the Vice President of Sales and Operations at Whiptail Tech. Now you guys are having way too much fun at this booth. You've had mad traffic all show long. You're Citrix ready. You got a great technology. Tell us about it. What is it about desktop virtualization that you guys can enable? Sure. Thanks, Carol. Um, and yes, my it's been so trafficy that I can barely talk. So I apologize. <laughs> Basically, the net net is we're here talking about how to deploy Zen Desktop much more broadly. The biggest barrier to adoption of VDI and obviously Zen Desktop in particular is the cost associated with the storage infrastructure. It's always a net new infrastructure. You can't tap into your old one, or if you can, you can't go very deep into it. So with VDI and Zen Desktop, it's about performance. It's not about capacity. So you're looking at 20 to 40 IOPS for every virtual desktop image. It needs a lot of horsepower, and a hard disk drive array just doesn't scale that way. They can only handle about 2,500 per array when it comes to IOPS. Our little 2U solid state super green appliance can do 150,000 IOPS and scale over 5,000 users. So that removes 90% of those costs as far as storage, as far as power, cooling, retail rack, sp retail rack space, et cetera, et cetera. So breaking free with the legacy hard disk drives and moving forward with solid state. It's here and that's what we're focused on. Absolutely. Now you guys are really offering some flexibility for people and that's probably why Citrix really appreciates your technology. What is the relationship between Whiptail and Citrix? So we're a Citrix Ready partner and we've been involved with their development teams both in California and in the Bedford office as well as the guys in the UK. And they've been tremendous for us because they're helping us tune the device to be more and more functional and more and more optimizations and efficiencies wrapped around Zen Desktop and the elements therein such as provisioning server, etc. So they've been tremendous. Absolutely, and I see that you've had tremendous response at the conference. What has been some of the feedback you're hearing from the people coming by your booth? Yeah, basically, it's been I had I had not considered that storage implication when I was looking at my Zen desktop deployment, and this sounds fantastic. So it's it's kind of a different world, right? So virtualization and storage are kind of morphing into one, and that's and that's where it is. It's it's important that people recognize that. So we sort of say we're not so much competitive with this company or that company. It's just about the fact that we. And ignorance out there, people are not aware that we're around and that technology can be an enabler for, uh, for Zen Desktop. Well, I have a feeling, especially after this show, people are going to know who you guys are. Brian, thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you.